Hey, 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 it's the midweek. This is weird. I never know where this camera is. Oh, there, I think I found it a little bit. Okay, I'll look at record. Okay, I had to change the lighting because that was just too dark. Take two. <laughs> Let's talk about the most pressing thing I have experienced this week. So, last week I had taken my hair down. I know it's looking rough, but it's the end of the day. Look, it is what it is. I've been wearing it in these two braids, so... Um, when I took it down, I happened to notice, like, when I looked in the mirror, I was like, dang, my hand looks, you know, raggedy as heck. It just looked real scraggly, like. So, I said, okay, it must be time for a cut. But I had kind of been thinking, like, I wasn't, I can't really tell if my hair was doing what, um, it should do in terms of the end. I had gotten my ends trimmed when I went to Philly in October, um, and I knew that they kind of, they don't feel or they don't look split, but I was getting a lot of single strand knots. I wasn't really sure if it was something I was doing or that's just the natural nature of my hair. Cause you know, some people, I mean, it might be an issue for some that people can solve, but others in this natural hair journey, that is just your hair. So I wasn't ready to just be like, Oh, well, let me fix it. It's like, I've experienced them so many times, you know, uh, I was thinking maybe it's just, it is what it is. So, um, I let it be and I said to myself, huh, I'm going to need to make an appointment with Amina in about a month or so, if not. You guys notice your hair smells old real quick? Alright, look at these. Don't the man's look bad? Look how smooth. Ooh, look at that one. That's the one right here. This is what I noticed in the mirror. Look at that. That's the one right there. Look at that. So anyway, yeah, Niche, she uh, did a video, she uploaded a video, I think, sometime this week, and as soon as I saw the title, I was like, damn, I knew, I was like, this is gonna apply to me, because the video was like, hair crisis, and she had a picture of this brush, well, hers wasn't missing no teeth, but you know, so I finally watched the video yesterday, because I didn't even want to watch it, I already knew, because I used this brush, and I was surprised that I could use it, I use it pretty much every week, show sure enough, her video was talking about how she was getting a lot of single strand knots, how she was getting split ends. Um, and after she trimmed her hair twice, she realized it's because of this. Um, she also had a knockoff Denman. This is a knockoff Denman. I got it from Actually, Make an attempt to really finger detangle well. Um, I had already, I knew that I was having issue with comb and I needed to finger detangle. After LaShawn Terry told me about um, seamed combs. I don't know if you guys realize, but like if you look on the inside of a comb, you see that seam? You can see that real good right there. Those seams can, can sometimes cause split ends, like running up and down your hair. So I noticed like every comb I had had a seam. So I went and bought some seamless combs. One of them like was going to be, I started YouTubing finger detangling videos yesterday because <sighs> it is what it is. I got to, the finger detangle is real. I'm going to have to just do it. So, you know. Let's hope it's not like a huge, like big thing. Like my hair is not that seriously damaged from it, but my ends definitely look raggedy. I was like, what? And I just feel like I just noticed it last week. Like it wasn't always like that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that end. That is raggedy. That's what you call raggedy. So finger detangling, you take small sections and kind of run your fingers through. I never feel like I'm doing it right. 